Um, I'm a geography teacher here at Bishop Morocco Thomas Merton and I'm very excited to be out here um, after a year's worth of work with our, our students uh, growing tomatoes. And what we did was we connected with seniors in the community who are retired teachers. Um, one of them is Larry Zaharko and he's been growing tomatoes for about 30 years. So when I first came to this school as a supply teacher in 85, 86, this greenhouse was just covered in mice and windows broken and I had really six of the funniest, toughest kids I ever had. And I had all these exercises to give them and they wouldn't do them. And so I started the greenhouse and I said, let's document how things grow, what we do. So that was part of an English class. And then I give them exercises. And if they didn't do the exercises, we couldn't go to the greenhouse. They did the exercises immediately. Hey Larry, you wanna come and grow some seeds now that you're retired? So he did and um, taught us all about how to grow in our greenhouse. Um, we had this great idea coming from Larry to collect all of the coffee cups that we could possibly get a hold of um, because they can't be recycled and to actually grow our plants in those cups. So this became a labor of love for the grade 9 geography class. They start in February and March and while they're doing that they have to find somebody that they don't know very well in the neighborhood that they think deserves a plant. And then they have to write to that person saying, I chose you because. And then on the May long weekend, they hand the person the plant and the letter. It just builds communities so well. I ended up giving my plant to my dad. Yeah, I took one home for my mother and she's very happy about it. I give it to my neighbor because he's always giving us vegetables. Me and him are planting next week the tomatoes that we did in class. I just liked planting them and then afterwards selling them to seniors and stuff. It was really nice to watch people come and just take the plants. We made a lot of people happy today, so that was probably the best part. At the end of the season, people give me their best tomato. And then I uh, save the seeds, I let it dry out. None of these seeds are store-bought. I had a seed that was brought from Ukraine 120 years ago and was passed down every year. Being Italian, tomatoes are like a very sacred thing. I can't look at a tomato plant without getting excited. We not only planted seeds, we learned about urban uh, agriculture, food security, and building healthy relationships. So this is a geographer's dream and I'm really happy to be here.